Good morning. In this, we will study about pseudo first order reaction. It is, for example, ester hydrolysis is an example of pseudo first order reaction. In ester hydrolysis, ester reacts with the water, it undergoes hydro means hydro means water cleavage. So what water cleavage? Ester reacts with the water to give acetic acid plus water. Okay. The rate one mole of in this case one mole of ester will give one mole of acid. So the rate of the reaction can be followed either by measuring the decrease in the concentration of ester or by increasing by measuring the increase in the concentration of acetic acid. We can uh, measure the rate of the reaction by following the uh, ester concentration or by following the increase in the acetic acid concentration. In this case, H plus is acts, uh, H plus acts as a catalyst. As I told you earlier, catalysts are gener regenerated at the end of the reaction, so the concentration of H plus is always a constant. Okay, now the rate of the reaction is directly proportional to the ester concentration to the power 1 and the water concentration to the power 1. Now the rate, the, this is a second order reaction, actually this reaction is a second order reaction. But, but since the water concentration is large excess, since water is, um, it is ester is dissolved in water, H plus is dissolved in water, Therefore, it is a second order reaction. However, the, since the concentration of water is in large excess, it is assumed to be constant. Therefore, K1 prime, this is the rate. Now, the rate of the reaction only depends upon the ester, uh, ester concentration. Therefore, all ester, one mole of ester corresponds to one mole of acetic acid. Therefore, the rate of reaction, although the rate of the reaction is a second order reaction, it is considered as a pseudo first order because the concentration of water is large excess assumed to be constant. In especially this thing, um, to understand it will be very difficult. Most of the students they memorize the rate constant equation. Rate constant equation they don't know uh, how it is um, obtained, this expression is obtained, it is difficult to understand. Now, in this lecture, I have drawn, uh, uh, the, um, I have drawn pictures, uh, diagrams, so that it can be followed very easily, you can understand uh, to remember it, okay. So, now, determination of rate constant, how the rate constant determination, how the uh, pseudo first order rate constant is determined, what are the chemicals required? Ester, we need ester, uh, methyl acetate or ethyl acetate, concentrated as here, sodium hydroxide and uh, then add uh, phenolphenone as indicator. Okay. Now, preparation of solution, we need to, to, um, to carry out this experiment, we need to prepare 0.5 normal HCl, 0.1 normal sodium hydroxide, we need phenolphenone indicator. Okay. Now, let us take 100 ml of how the, how the ester hydrolysis is carried out. In a stoppered bottle, take 100 ml of HCl, 0.5 normal HCl, and 2 ml of ester is prepared out into it, and the mixture is, the reaction, the mixture is shaken, uh, shaken well, and at time immediately, at time t equal to 0, the procedure, at time t equal to 0, uh, withdraw, uh, take out. 2 ml of ester, to take out 5 ml of, 5 ml of reaction mixture. You use a pip, uh, pipette to take out, to pipette out 5 ml reaction mixture and add 20 ml of water, ice water to freeze the reaction, to freeze the reaction. In the, at low temperature earlier, I told uh, as we increase uh, the temperature, the rate of the reaction increases, for example, for every 10 degree rise, the rate con rate increases, the rate constant or rate increases by 2 to 3 fold. Okay, so when you add ice water, the reaction is uh, frozen. Uh, therefore, at time t equal to 0, and it is titrated, the mixture is shaken uh, and titrated against 0 0.1 normal sodium hydroxide taken in urine. Okay, now the volume, volume of sodium hydroxide, now 
there is no reaction. The reaction has not taken place. Only HCl is there. Therefore, volume of sodium hydroxide consumed is directly proportional to the concentration of HCl. Okay. Now, uh, similarly, take out after five minutes. After five minutes, take out another five ml. Another five ml and add 30 ml of ice water and titrate it. Shake, uh, shake well, shake well, and titrate it against 0 0.1 normal sodium hydroxide. Now, at time t, at time t, volume of sodium hydroxide consumed is directly proportional to uh, concentration of HCl. Since uh, the catalyst is regenerated at the end of the reaction, the concentration remains constant. Plus, you are, now the reaction has taken place. Now the reaction has taken place. After five minutes, you are uh, taking the reaction mixture. The reaction mixture is this. Therefore, um, volume of sodium hydroxide consumed is equal to uh, concentration of HCl plus uh, concentration of acetic acid. One mole of acetic acid corresponds to one mole of ester at time t. Okay. Similarly, uh, at time t equal to 10 minutes, t equal to 20 minutes, t equal to 40 minutes, uh, you measure. Uh, readings are tabulated. At t equal to infinity, what, what it means after long time, after long time, all you simply uh, take uh, remaining mixture and reflect it and take 5 ml of the uh, after long time and add 20 ml of ice water and titrate against 0 0.1 normal sodium hydroxide. Now the volume corresponds to volume of sodium hydroxide corresponds to t equal to infinity. d infinity is directly proportional to concentration of HCl plus. Okay, yesterday all the all are now at infinite time, at infinite at long time, all of them are reacted, all of them are all of them reacted, therefore the acid concentration will be more, therefore uh, acetic acid, uh, all the ester will be converted into uh, acetic acid, therefore the volume consumed will be more than more uh, compared to t equal to 0, t equal to 5. Now volume of uh, sodium hydroxide consumed is directly proportional to concentration of HCl plus concentration of uh, acid, concentration of acetic acid actually, uh, that is ester, initial concentration. Therefore, we can now uh, A equal to, now we can translate what is A, in the rate constant, what is A, A equal to, in different notation, A naught, in different notation, A naught equal to B infinity, for example, B infinity minus Therefore, what you get is HCl, HCl gets cancelled, therefore only ester concentration, B, A equal to ester concentration. Similarly, A minus X equal to B infinity, this is B infinity minus this, the concentration of uh, ester remaining, concentration of ester remaining will be obtained. Therefore, B infinity minus B, B. Similarly, X equal to A minus A minus X, uh, it can be calculated sometimes. Uh, uh, in problems, uh, they may ask how much uh, uh, it has reacted. Uh, in this case, you can calculate. Then, by uh, putting A and uh, A minus X in the first order rate equation, K equal to 2. Point, this is a pseudo first order reaction. This is a first order reaction. 2.03 uh, by T log D infinity minus B and A minus X is D infinity minus B T. Uh, so I have given you the procedure so that you can understand uh, the uh, ester hydrolysis, how the rate constant is uh, arrived at. Uh, thank you for watching.